Hi, this is Jay. Welcome to Bright Ideas. Brunfren Brenner's model, also known as the Bioecological Systems Theory, presents child development within the context of relationship systems that comprise the child's environment. It describes multi-part layers of environment that has an effect on the development of the child. Each layer is further made up of different structures. The term bioecological points out that a child's own biological makeup impacts as a key factor in one's development. Here are the systems of bioecological model. Microsystem, mesosystem, exosystem, macrosystem, and kernel system. The first one is the microsystem. This is the layer nearest the child. It comprises structures which the child directly interacts with. It includes structures like the family, school, and neighborhood. As such, the microsystem covers the most basic relationship and interactions that a child has in his or her immediate environment. Does a child have a strong and nurturing relationship with the parents and family? Are his needs met? In this layer, relationship effects happen in two directions, both away from the child and toward the child. This means that the child is affected by people with whom he interacts, and in turn, these people are also affected by the child. For example, a mother's deep affection for her child moves her to answer to the baby's needs and keep the baby safe. In turn, the baby's smiles and coos bring the mother feelings of warmth and affirmation that indeed she is a good mother. The child is affected by the behavior and beliefs of the parents. However, the child also affects the behavior and beliefs of the parent. Bronfen Brenner calls these bidirectional influences, and he shows how they occur among all levels of environment. This is quite similar to what Erickson termed as mutuality in a psychosocial theory. The Maso system. This layer serves as the connection between the structures of the child's microsystem. For example, the Maso system will include the link or interaction between the parents and teachers, or the parent and health services, or the community and the church. The Exo system. This layer refers to the bigger social system in which the child does not function directly. This includes the city government, the workplace, and the mass media. The structures in this layer may influence the child's development by somehow affecting some structure in the child's microsystem. This includes the circumstances of the parent's work like the location or schedules. We see a change in the children's routine when, for example, the mother works in a call center. That was seen in the burger chain commercial where the mom and the children meet up at the fast food for breakfast just before the children go to school and the mom going home from work in a call center. The child may not interact directly with what is in the exosystem, but he is likely to feel the positive or negative impact the system creates as it interacts with the child's own system. The macrosystem. This layer is found in the outermost part in the child's environment. The macro system includes the cultural values, customs, and laws. The belief system contained in one's macro system permeates all the interactions in the other layers and reaches the individual. For example, in Western countries like the US, most of the young people are expected to be more independent by the time they end their teenage years, while in Asian countries like ours, parents are expected to support or at least want to support the children for a longer period of time. It is not uncommon to see even married children still living with their parents. In China, and also in other parts of the world, sons are more vulnerable than daughters. This may pose challenges for girls as they are growing up. Because of differences in beliefs and customs, children from different parts of the world experience different child-rearing practices, and therefore differences in development as well. The chrono system covers the element of time as it relates to a child's environment. This involves patterns of stability and change in the child's life. This involves whether the child's day is characterized by an orderly, predictable pattern, or whether the child is subjected to sudden changes in routine. We can also look into the pace of the child's everyday life. Is it a hurried or relaxed pace? This system can affect or influence the child externally like the timing of other siblings coming or the timing of parental separation or even death. Effects can also be internal, like in the body changes that occur within a developing child, like the timing of menstrual onset for girls. As children get older, they may react differently to environmental changes. The children may have also acquired the ability to cope and decide to what extent they will allow changes around them to affect them.